good afternoon, hello. Um, what a week I've had, it's been one of ups and downs and disasters and various other things, but anyway, um, I've survived to Sunday to make this video. Um, I'm smoking some German's Royal, JF German's Royal Jersey, which is a Virginia Preak mixture, it smells extraordinary in the tin, it smokes quite well, you've got to be a bit gentle on it because it gets a little ashy if you puff too hard. Um, I'm smoking it in a Wilma Supreme, which uh, the stem is a bit of a mess, uh, I will explain more about that. Uh, it's got flame grain all the way around the bowl, bird's eyes top and bottom and around the uh, edge of the top of the bowl and on the base as well. It's a lovely pipe, smokes really well. as does that tobacco. Germans were founded in 1820 if anybody's interested and they're based on the island of Jersey. Um, you might think that's an odd place to take, make a, a go and uh, take up tobacco production. It's a small island off the coast of, uh, well, I'd say France but of course it's part of the British Isles. Um, uh, there's historic uh, reasons for that. Um, I think Calais was the last part of mainland France that was still governed by the English king. Though, when in Calais, he was a uh, liege, I think is the uh, heraldic phrase, of the king of France. There we go. But we lost that. Henry VIII lost that, in fact. But anyway, getting back to Jersey. Jersey has, uh, lots of people see it as a tax haven. And it is uh, somewhat offshore, and there are certain tax breaks that can be had from living there but what it was in the 19th century was a place where businesses could go and avoid tax so quite a lot of businesses um now what was the name of the dun they made dundee marmalade now what was it you know i won't remember but anyway uh, dundee dundee marmalade was manufactured on jersey of all places now of course there's no you know port of jersey with all the necessary oranges and in the case of germs tobacco would come in and be produced there without having to pay heavy duty on it and could then be shipped to the you know wherever for export and whatnot so anyway so that's a little brief history of why uh, germs is probably on jersey but uh, anyway yeah wilmers uh wilmers was a um little family run business in essex um uh, there's some ah oh, here comes the dog hello he's not been very well I've had him in the vets twice this week it's cost me a fortune come here oh, all right please yourself um yes uh Wilmers yes they were founded uh about 1940 I think roughly and uh, they have been at an Essex place from they're now no longer in existence so they've, they've gone out of business there was some kind of debate as to whether the Wilmer, the H. Wilmer, was a carver for Charlton, Charlton, and um, then uh, then set up on his own when uh, the business changed over to Lane. But who knows? Um, this this hasn't got a grading on it. It's just a Wilmer Supreme with uh, with a number. So, uh, but it's a lovely pipe. Um, I attempted foolishly myself. It's like the dog's wrecking his bed. Uh, I foolishly attempted to clean the stem. The stem was in a hell of a state. It's still in a hell of a state, but not the state it was in, if you see what I mean. It was absolutely, it was a kind of bright orange colour. So I think it, what had happened is, that was the dog yawning, uh, the, the pipe had been left in the sun maybe, and really the stem took a hammering. Um, I, I just, without thinking, stuck it in some bleach, then realised that it was the lovely W on the side. Um, it's embossed, so I don't know whether that's salvageable, but uh, uh, if anybody has a tip on how to salvage embossed uh, markings on pipe stems, I'd be grateful to hear that, any from them. Uh, I'm going to send the um, the stem next week. I haven't, as I've had such a 
terrible bloody week, excuse my language. Uh, I've not got around to sending it to Dean. Dean kindly offered to uh, fix it up for me. Uh, I've tried my best with a little bit of stem polish and, and this disastrous bleaching, which uh, went horribly wrong. But uh, I've had a few smokes of the pipe. It's a lovely pipe, so I think it's worth it. I might even get a new stem for it cut. You, know, you never know. So anyway, what else has happened? Uh, yeah, sofa was supposed to be delivered. I'm now minus though because I threw my other one out. Uh, but then they couldn't get it up the stairs and, and in the process broke a light, which was uh, interesting to say the least. Trying to pick up, at night time this was delivered, trying to pick up glass at night when you broke the light, the only light there, and so you couldn't really see it was uh, most un entertaining. So anyway, thumbs up for the warmer pipes. If you can see, when I paid about £40 for it on uh, eBay, uh, it had been used, but had been tarted up quite nicely by this chap. Uh, I'll put a link to his page. He does have some nice pipes. I bought two now. I bought a Molini. Hang on, I'll show you. I need to uh, polish that silver. It's a silver band. I paid about 30 quid for that. Beautiful uh, Italian-made pipe with a... Uh, stem the silver needs a polish but uh, yeah and this one so uh, quite reasonably priced he does not clean the stems up well he he'll rim he reams the um, he reams the bowl and uh, make sure that the airway is not blocked but that's it so if you wanted a deeper clean uh, that Molini had been uh, he'd been smoked with uh, cherry tobacco and uh, not really, we used to be a favourite one, but I can't stand the stuff now. Um, so I uh, I did a bit of a, I'm not one for salt treatments, but uh, just to get rid of this taste of cherries every time I smoke. Um, usually a good bashing with a good strong English mixture a couple of times sorts that out, but uh, anyway. Um, so anyway, yeah, so there we go, that's what's been happening. Um, uh, I should be meeting the professor on Tuesday this week, so maybe a, I think we're going to have a rest for a week or two. And get your, uh, get your, uh, get bored with you hearing me and him rabbiting on in the pub. Um, yep. Yeah, so there we go. Wilmer Pipe, Royal uh, Jersey um, Perique mixture. Very nice. I like it. It's very smells very sweet in the tin. Smokes well, and as I say, just a gentle puff though because. Uh, if it gets too hot, it gets very hot. If it gets hot quickly, it gets very ashy. So you have to just, you know, gently sip at it. Anyway, I hope everybody's well out there. Uh, cheers. You come in to sit with me now. Good boy. Nice and comfy. Yeah. Oh, oh.